Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, it's your guy Big Will, when I'm back with this boxing talk. What's good with your fam fam? Hey listen man, about a week or two ago, uh, Mikey Garcia, who we all know is preparing for a fight with uh, IBF welterweight champion Earl Spence, um, and he's working up there with Victor Conti at the snack facilities, um, he released a photo showing his progress on his physique. Um, you know, and it's had the whole boxing media, whole boxing world um, talking about it. It's been buzzing, you know what I'm saying? Um, not long after, uh, Earl Spence Jr. took to Twitter, uh, where you can find the link in the description of this video. He took to Twitter, man, and he talked about Mikey's physique, man. Um, you know, I made a video about it, man, and, you know, it kind of took me back at, you know, some of the comments that, I was getting in the comment section, man. Um, you know, some of these dudes, you know, was talking about uh, that's not Earl. That's not Earl's voice. You know what I'm saying? That's not, you know, like like this is clickbait. You know, and all that type of shit right there, man. Listen, listen, homie. Let's get this straight right now. You understand what I'm saying? I'm 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 a grown man. I'm on GMB over here at Big Faces Worldwide. I'm on grown man business time. Ain't no clickbait. Over here, homie. So, I don't know what y'all used to on this YouTube thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what dudes been doing to get y'all to watch their videos and all that. But you're not going to get that over here, man. Um, you know, um, everything I do, I'm a grind for, man. I'm a grind. I'm a grind slow. A slow grind. And I'm going to achieve my goals that way. You ain't going gonna to get no clickbait on this channel right here. You understand what I'm saying? I'm on GMB, Grown Man Business, man. So you can stop with all that clickbait shit. That wasn't Earl Spence Jr. and all that type of talk right there, man. The link is in the description. Y'all can go check it out for your goddamn self. You understand what I'm talking about? Um, now, on to the video, man. These dudes... It's crazy, man. I know I'm YouTube. I'm new to this YouTube thing, man. So I'm not used to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not used to how things roll. I guess they're used to dudes making videos, man, and it be and then not be what they say it is. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, three things for real over here, homie. If I'm saying it, it's cuz it's true. You know what I mean? And if it ain't true, I'm going to put it on my segment called Word on the Street where I'm telling you up front that it has yet to be officially announced. But this is what they're talking about, you know what I mean, behind the scenes, man. But if I make a video about something, you best believe, you know what I'm saying, I got it on good authority that it's true. Now, with that out the way, man, let's get to this video right here. Um, you know what I mean? So, you know, after Earl Spence came out with that, uh, you know, video that he made talking about Mikey's physique and, you know, people start talking about is Mikey Garcia on steroids we all know the checker pass that Victor Conti has had in the past you know what I'm saying and it got people wondering well I know you heard me in my last couple videos giving um, props out to the boxing voice and I got to give it up to them one more time man the boxing voice is, is giving us a lot of a lot of uh, content to talk about um, I hope they don't knock me upside my head for using their audio, man. But they they sat down with um, well they did a phone interview with Mikey Garcia, man, and uh, they asked him directly about the steroids um comments that that's been buzzing around the boxing industry. And um, here's exactly what um what uh Mikey Garcia had to say about it. Mikey here. Well, thanks for having me. Um, you're right. We are uh, in the middle of training. We we are in intense training over here uh, in San Carlos at Snack. So um, we're set for the for the fight. I know there's a lot of uh, questions and people spreading rumors and just you know people want to clear some things up. So I'm here to uh, discuss anything you guys have in mind. This for this fight because it is. You know, at a at a higher weight class, that uh, you know, against the top, you know, you know, one of the best, you know, probably the best in the division, you know, strong guy like L. Spence, we wanted to make sure that we uh, did things, you know, even better, and uh, we felt that, you know, by spending time here at Snack, we would get the best training, the best uh, strength training possible, and um, you know, that's why that's why we're here. I mean, any, anybody else speculating anything or saying anything, uh, you know what, we're getting tested. We're, we're being, you know, enrolled in the VADA program. You know, they're, they're 
they're I think the the most uh, a strict uh, you know techn, you know uh, organization that that that's out there and with, you know strict guidelines and everything. So I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to to really keep away from the public. That's what we did in Rolling Nevada and. I mean, we're starting testing as soon as we can. I mean, we're both enrolled now. I enrolled last week. From what I hear, Spence paperwork went through uh, today, and he's enrolled also. I mean, that should answer all the questions there. Anybody that has any questions should probably just ask Vada regarding the, the, the uh, samples and, and the testing procedures. So that right there, man, that should put all the steroid talk to bed, man. Both guys are enrolled in VADA testing, man. We know that VADA is very, very strict, and they're on top of the game. They have caught multiple fighters in the past. So um, you can you can guarantee that both of these guys will be tested on a regular basis, man. Um, I've heard of sometimes fighters being tested six times in, in one week. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not six times in a week, but um, six times um, – over the period of a training camp, man. So, you know what I mean? These guys show up at your house in the middle of the night. They come to where you are. You know what I'm saying? So so they're on it, man. So all this steroid talk, man, can be put to bed. Uh, Mikey Garcia's up there, man. He got to put on size. He got to put on strength to go up against this big, big, big welterweight that we all know that Earl Spence Jr. is, man. So um, there you heard it from, from, you know, Mikey Garcia's mouth himself. Um, like I said, you can go check that interview out over at the Boxing Voice. Again, shout out to them guys, Next, Nestor Gibbs, Michael Gross, the, the the crew, Ron, and all them guys, man. They're doing a phenomenal job, man. Um, you know, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, keep it coming, man. Keep it coming because, you know, at times like this when there's not a whole lot of breaking news, you know what I mean, and shit like that, man. It's these type of interviews that, you know what I mean, that get – you know, that get that get things going, that get things rolling, man. I seen um a lot of large media outlets, man, like Boxing Scene and and um others that have taken uh that obviously watch, you know, the Boxing Voices content and they're making headlines and making stories about it as well, man. So them guys over there doing something right, man. Shout out to them, man. Again, don't knock me over my head, man. Don't get me no no strikes for using your audio, man. I really appreciate what you're doing for the sport, man. And um, it's all love over here, man. But, um, yeah, man, really looking forward to this fight, man. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they read the uh, title of a video. You know what I mean? They watch the first minute or something, man. And, you know, when I mean, they click off and, and automatically they get in the comment section talking shit, talking about things that they don't even know about. If they will listen to the whole video, they will understand that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did not say that Mikey Garcia was was uh, using steroids, per se. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't say Earl Spence Jr. said that Mikey was using steroids. I said, I let y'all hear what Earl Spence had to say, man. You know what I mean? The boy said he looked like Kangaroo Jack on steroids, that he wanted whatever it was Mikey had that he wanted it, you know, and he left it for us to interpret how we wanted, how we, you know, prefer to interpret it. You know what I'm saying? So you, you know what I mean? You lame ass dudes out there in the comment section, you know what I mean? Just, um, you know, just not really listening, you know, but just want to talk shit, man, you know, pay attention to what, what what somebody's saying before you go talking shit, man, one thing for sure, two things for certain, three things for real, man, I ain't that type of dude, you understand what I'm saying, I ain't that type of dude that's just gonna put out some propaganda and some bullshit, you know what I mean, just to get clicks and views, you know what I mean, um, Sometimes I will make the, the the title enticing, but it's not going to be misleading. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's in the title is definitely going to be in the video. I don't know what y'all used to, man, but, you know, big faces worldwide. We ain't doing that type of shit over here. You understand what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all tuning in. For those of you who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. Until the next time, I will holler back. Peace.